So I made this video for Fiverr.com, sort of an advertisement, and I used the movie voice trailover voice that I have or can make. The first part of it is what I made, my words, and all the music's mine. The second part is all their taglines. The taglines that are on their website, I incorporated them into the second portion of the set. So I'm going to show you that here in a second. And enjoy the rest of the video. In a world where you have a project that needs completed today, count on Fiverr.com to find fast, affordable, quality solutions. Whatever the need, we've got the solution. Find any service in under five minutes. A whole world of freelance talent at your fingertips. Find the perfect freelancer for you. Unbeatable value. Professional sellers. Get started today. So this is the door that you come in. It's a little messy right now, but this is where all the activity goes on. This is the brains of the operation right here, this Alienware Aurora R12. There's a Kemper. You can see the Kemper, which is this. If you're not familiar, it, it uh, generates good tone for guitar or bass. This is a WA-76. Hey, hello, Nevada. It's a limiter, or it says, uh, with the lim limiting amplifier, it sort of does a lot of tricks. Here we got the other brains of the operation, the Focusrite 18i 22nd gen. You didn't see, but there's I have another eight inputs going through an Octo Pre. An Octo Pre Dynamic, which is down here. On this side, we got an Akai MPK225, which is a mini controller, so it helps me. I can play synths or I can do other stuff like that. And this is a Empirical Labs ELA Distressor, which really basically I use it on guitars as a high pass or I use it on vocals to make them really sit up in the mix and be pretty powerful and rock for vocals. It works pretty well. This was my auto-tune, Antara's outboard gear auto-tune, but I decided to acquire Melodyne Studio, which is a little bit more expensive, but it does the job better in a studio situation. This is more for a live situation if you're going to be live auto-tuning. Here's my beautiful microphone. It's a WA-47. Here's a guitar I use quite frequently, the Jaguar. It's not the Jazzmaster, it's the short-scale Jaguar. This is an acoustic guitar from a friend. Behind the curtain, there's a bunch of, bunch of gear that I frequently don't want to look at, so I just cover it with a curtain. And then over here we got a pedal selection. Got a good pedal selection. This is my go-to amp right here, the Fender Super Champ XD. Although I have an Orange Rocker 15, an Orange Rocker 32, an Orange Crest 120, and a Fender Bass Breaker 15, you can use whatever you want. Uh, this is my go-to guitar for studio work. It's a Fender Telecaster. This is the Entertainment Center in case you're bored. I watch movies. There's my touring rig, touring pedal board, touring guitar. Hasn't been used in a while. Over here, we just got decorations and another keyboard that's MIDI keyboard in case I want some more, more range and more keys without having to press up, down, octave on that MK225. It's my doggy Nevada. Hello, Nevada. And then that's about, I got some guitars on the wall, guitar, bass guitar, which goes on all my tracks, mostly. 
another acoustic guitar. That's the summary of Stump Studios. Now we're going to take you through and walk you through one of the songs I made called Slow Burn and sort of the process and design behind that. Once you have the song written, that's the beginning. Then it, it involves, I usually do somewhat of a rewrite uh, to get the right feel for the dynamics, different parts, different changes, add a part here, take a part away there. Uh, that way it's got dynamics in it. And uh, sometimes I'll shorten it or sometimes it'll go longer and slow burn. I, I lengthen it. I added another part. Um, it's in C minor. It's in A minor, but I added, I added a third part that's in a bridge. That's in a bridge position that's uh, just like a rock out part that starts on C, then goes to G, then it goes to, well, it doesn't matter, but you'll hear it. Um, but then after you have the parts all written out and you have everything that you need musically done, you know, or theoretically done, the next part is building a team building a team of people or musicians that can help you get the job done. Now I play guitar and I play a little bit of other instruments like bass or keyboard, but I don't play French horn. I don't play trumpets. I don't play violins. I don't sing female vocals. My falsetto is horrible. Um, and my regular voice is questionable. Uh, what else? I don't play flute, uh, no trombone, uh, nothing. So, I, I, the instruments I could play, I did, and the ones that I didn't, I sent out on a website called Fiverr.com. Um, now, you can find musicians on Fiverr, freelance site. You can find musicians on Upwork, freelance site. You can find musicians on Soundbetter.com. And probably the cheapest is Fiverr. It doesn't mean the quality is less if you find the right people. And then uh, Upwork is the next best one. It's expensive, but you can put out bids for a project. You can put out your project for bids, and you can try to work with someone to see who's going to get the best job done for you, for your needs. Uh, then there's soundbetter.com, which is where all the people that have Grammys exist. So if you wanted to have a song produced by a Grammy winner something, then you could. It just costs a lot of money. Uh, I prefer Fiverr's because... Fiverr, you can find good people for a quality buck. So that's sort of what happens there. So next, what I do is I use a drum machine to get a beat. And I use the Beat Buddy. The Beat Buddy connects directly into my DAW. And if I set the beat per, beats per minute, that works. The, the I hate the master-slave saying, but the MIDI clock syncs to this. So this one is essentially working for the MIDI clock that's in this. If you can see that, the Focusrite 18i20. And in Pro Tools, it'll teach you, you can figure out how to do all that stuff. But I uh, play guitar to that beat and record it and do some scratch vocals. I do some scratch guitar work, maybe do a bass line. And then it, the project stops there for me. And what I do is I send it out to a drummer next. And then once I get his product back, then I send it out to the strings people. Once I get the strings people back, I'll send it out to the the winds people. Once I get the winds back, I'll send it out to the horns section. And uh, once I have all the pieces together, um, I'll add whatever parts I want to add, whatever I think still is needed. I'll delete what's not needed, uh, do mixing, editing, and mastering. And the editing takes a while. And I might find, like for the example, the slow burn video, I decided I'd like some synth. And uh, so I added synth as a final step. Uh, then I re remixed everything and I edited out what I did and didn't like. And then I mastered it. So... Without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to the musicians, the musicians that were part of this project and helped me get this song done. And then I'm going to walk through sort of the mixing and editing, sort of the, some of the how you pull it all into your DAW 
and uh, find the right levels. I'm going to show you that process after I introduce you to some of the musicians that were on this project. Thank you. Hello. My name is Glenn Wellman, and I'm a session drummer based in the UK, although I'm originally from South Africa. I've been working with David Stump since about 2016, and he found me on Fiverr.com. And since that time, we've done probably about 100 tracks together, which is quite amazing. Um, it's always fantastic to collaborate with him. He's a brilliant songwriter and musician to work with, and it's just an all-round pleasure. So if you have the opportunity to work with him, take it. You won't regret it. Thank you, and I'll chat to you soon. Cheers. Hi, my name is Claude Lumley. I'm a French horn player with the Air Force Band in St. Louis, and Dave found me on Fiverr.com. Hi, my name is Hanna. I am from Ukraine, and I'm playing flute. Dave found me on Fiverr.com and uh, I will play his song, uh, Slow Burn. Hello, I am Josué from Spain. Um, I play the trumpet and they phone me on Fiverr.com. See you. Hey everyone, I'm Marisa, AKA Listen to Marisa, here in Eugene, Oregon. I sing and play the violin and Dave found me on Fiverr.com. Today I'm going to be walking through Slow Burn with you and showing you all the parts that are involved in creating a song with production involved uh, that's kind of massive. Um, Alright, so we're going to start off by what I did at first was get a drum track going. Here it is. And then to that I added some guitar. guitar. After the guitar, I actually added vocals. These are going to be kind of loud. Oh, they're not that loud. Right. After I added some vocals, I added a little bit of bass. That's what really drives this song. I added a real drummer next. Here's the real drums. Bass is a little loud. Alright, I'm turning it down. After that, I added some electric guitar on the left.
natural song. All right, this is Dave signing off. So